It's a new year, and it's a whole new you, Spitwads. If you've got a big chapter coming up in your life, maybe a wedding day of yours or someone else you know, you need to look nice in a perfectly custom tailored suit from Indochino. We've talked about Indochino for years. I love my Indochino suit. Getting the tailored, perfect measurements to your body, it it really does make you feel like a million bucks. And these perfect suits, they are affordable. They are not thousands upon thousands of dollars. They look like millions of dollars, but they are absolutely perfect, easy to get into, and Indochino gives you everything you need to create a custom suit that's right for you. You could shop online, setting up your measurement profile, choosing the fabric and customizations you want, or you can do like I did, go in person, book an appointment at an Indochino showroom, work with an expert style guide. And let me tell you, the people that I've worked with there, they know their stuff. They made me feel comfortable and confident in what design choices I wanted. And the best part is suits start at just $4.99 for premium fitted suits and shirts start at just $89. Again, fitted perfect. If you're ringing in 2023 with wedding bells ahead, start planning your custom look with Indochino. Go to Indochino.com, use the code BALLERS to get 10% off any purchase of $3.99 or more. That's I-N-D-O-C-H-I-N-O.com, promo code BALLERS. Spit Wads, we are back with another spit hit. And on today's episode, you know you're going to love it because we've got a liar, liar with stupid liar Al Borland in charge. He's such a lying, just liar. Uh, you're going to really enjoy that. And then my feelings come through at the at the end of this draft because, uh, you know, we're going to deal with some death. And honestly, with liar, liar, I feel like uh, I feel like that's kind of what I, I need to do to Al is I need to maybe show him an up close and personal look at that because of what a liar he is. Enjoy the show. What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. A scoop boop bop 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 bing bang ba ding ding <laughs> Oh man Oh no <laughs> Everyone is left Everyone left us <laughs> Now look I got I have some notes Do you want <laughs> Now this this is not your scat, right? That wasn't theirs either. I, I lost it halfway. <laughs> so you tried to do Yeah I well look I brought this up when s- people have submitted scats into the uh the five star reviews for the show and I wrote it out and I'm like, okay, I got this. Cause it's hard to like, you can't straight read a scat. It's three letter words. It's a little boop, beep, bop. I have, I have some notes. Well, they're not going to be good. Well, Let's, they actually, I want to no, hear them. They actually, I have, I have one <sighs> good note, uh, and one critique. The critique is just, just a couple shows back. Uh, my, my scat, which was, I mean, it's a hundred out of a hundred every time. I was given some garbage for going with the sk- the, the, the squeeze, and you came in there with the ska. I think the problem is that you're relying on the squeeze. Like the, it's Enough of time. your notes. Back to my notes. <laughs> uh, and this is the good note. I mean, you went just full jazz at the end <laughs> because you were, n- like, you were in your – own time signature oh i know it went oh, a little longer like the four four was going and then you were in some like seven twelve i don't know what Look, you were doing but the, the proper scat was scooboo bop dop boom doom bing bang badingy now that's good that's but, much better than what you did but i ended with ding ding did, you, did but, you say boom doom boom doom <laughs> But see, it was the, great. I should have had it. What I feel like who's, I who's, heard who's, who's is I heard a that? record player that got on a skip because at one point I swear it was like a bop, 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 bop. Did no, you just say did. a record player? <laughs> yeah, like a. Well, what, is that I mean, the, well, like, the term? I know, but I, I'm like a, a CD skipping. That would be no, what we no, are. no, no. I'm talking about like an old school record player where you know when there when it got that little s- scratch and it would keep. You know what I'm talking about? It, it, I, I know of what you speak. I've never experienced that. Oh, that's a common thing. Yeah. Yeah. If, when you had a CD. Yeah. That's 
No, not a not a compact disc. An you old vinyl a record, record. You have a record player? No, but I've seen enough movies and TV <laughs> to know like when there's when there's a skip in that. That's, that was record. my point. Is you don't know what you're talking about. Who who wrote that scat? Um, I was trying to pull that up for you. Boom, the boom doom. But as you can see, I'm I can't pull it up for you for some. Oh, reason, your phone so is locked forever. My phone's locked. Uh, I'll share it later on. Although I don't no, know if they won't. want credit for what happened. <laughs> I mean, it's one take, guys. It's the boom, one take. Doom. And I knew if I... That's what it was. The pressure of reading that scat. It one it, shot. If people... Look. But ding, ding. The people out there will never understand the, the actual pressure of the scat, of the one shot scat. Well, when you have 10, what, 15, 20 million people listening. The the reality is per a lot of, per episode. A yeah. lot of yeah. people assume that we record for hours, cut down, take our best, you know, forty five it, minutes. Because it's so good. Because it's so good. Yeah. Um, the reality is this is always one take, and now you know that for sure because of that <laughs> scat. You go, yeah, they, they they did not redo that. They could have redone that. They chose not to. My man hit him with a boom doom. A boom doom. <laughs> Would you rather on today's show, the much heralded liar liar? <laughs> Yeah, baby. I'm winning. I know I feel it. I mean, Al Borland has not lost. How are you feeling, Al? Great. So you're feeling confident in your lying ability yet again? Very much. And we have a draft today. Here's the draft. Legendary ways <laughs> to meet your demise. <laughs> a boom doom. A boom doom. <laughs> oh, okay. It all fits in. And so picture, you know, this is what would you think would be legendary for your tombstone right you're walk somebody's walking through the gra the cemetery and they see your name and underneath it is i mean i don't think we really write how people die on their tombstones no, anymore we, like, we, they used to if it's legendary it really should happen i mean and then and there's a couple ways you can look at it of like you know it's like you're saying Andy. this is just like holy crap put that on my tombstone that like was, if you're going that out, was incredible. Why but, not be legendary? But there's but there's also ways to go out where it's like me reading it on a blog, going, "Holy crap, that that happened! That's impossible." Samanac submitted that scat, and also not that scat at all. But they submitted uh, their original enough. one, the Boom Doom. You you had to you had to tweak it for time. I did. I had to add some time <laughs> to it. All right, at Spitballers Pod on Twitter. Thank you for reviewing the show. Thank you for submitting all the different scats. I'll try harder next time. And uh, we appreciate you listening, supporting at uh, Spitwad's. Uh, wait, what's join the, the, the spit. join Spitwad the squad. Squad. com. That also works. It does. I was going to say that. I'll tell you what we are, uh, what we like the most when you tell your friends about the show. Yeah, that's true. Or family. There's or 100, family. 157 or strangers. Oh, that's my favorite. So Stand on a street strangers. corner. Yeah, yeah. We, we're looking basically what, what we're looking for here is free advertising. <laughs> so if you can <laughs> please just go out and aver if you want to buy a commercial slot, we give you full IP uh, yeah. rights. Yeah, billboards. Absolutely. Newspaper. Do, do, is a newspaper still yeah, around? Yeah, they're still around. Magazines. Yeah, records. If you want to make a record for your record player. That's but right. Just tell people about this. Spitballers. Whatever you do, just don't bill us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Let's get this show on the road. Would you rather? <laughs> what are you what doing over there? I'm sharing it. I'm sharing it. Sorry. What just happened? Uh, Judge Giamatti sent me a me <laughs> sent me a message. He said, and again, this is back to the one take. Okay. Um, he says you have a tiny white speck on your left arm sleeve, <laughs> and that was a big deal to Mr. <laughs> Giamatti. I could see it. And I what was it? Do you think people would have unsubscribed on YouTube? Probably not that far. No, okay. They will now. No. Are you <laughs> are you talking about? YouTube.com slash spitballers. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Well, it's free to subscribe. What was the spec? Uh, I don't know. Was it a bug? No, it wasn't a bug. Was I it assume, dandruff? I it was not it was dandruff. Food. It's too small. It was probably food. Crumbs of some sort. Oh, preferably a Danish, if it were me. <laughs> but you, you keep know. Danishes on your sleeve? Yeah, the, you do. Those are your best? Yeah, you Your do. favorite crumbs? Danish crumbs? Yeah, absolutely. He wears Danish. Like, without a doubt, I'm Danish wearing crumbs Danish are the best from Calvin Klein. <laughs> All right, here's the first would you rather for today. Will from Twitter. With a 10-year contractual commitment to your choice, would you rather choose your job or your salary? The other will be chosen at random. 
So okay. you choose your job or your salary. The other, the other is random. I feel like we've had questions similar to this before. We have owl. Just throwing that out there. You always do. Um, I mean, I don't. I, I'd rather be happy every day. I mean, your job is what you're doing eight to ten hours a day, and so if I'm getting a random job, the odds of like what percentage of jobs in the world are miserable? I would say half, ninety-five percent. No, you can, people can enjoy work in all sorts of fields, but there's, there's at least half of jobs that there's very little enjoyment to get out. You know, the, the, the manual labor for someone else's someone else, like where, where you're removed from, um, you, you're not building something and have, uh, a great finished accomplished feeling, but like you just do one little task. You're a small, you know, cog on a giant wheel. But how many jobs are out there? If you could say, because you're choosing your own salary, uh, is there a ceiling? On no, how? no. It says you choose it. One billion dollars a okay, year. Okay, so, oh, so you want to quit, real what, quick? Oh well, I mean, yes. Ten year what, commit. But no, I, I get it. It's, it's the ten that. years. But still, if your salary is billions of dollars, yeah. How many jobs are there actually out there where you're really? I, I I get it. Money does not. Money certainly does not buy happiness, and there could be but. there could be things tough that are street. But when you're talking about billions of dollars, we're not talking about like you. Okay, you're making you're making a uh, hundred and fifty grand. But well, you, like okay, you let me let me ask it this job. way. Let me ask it this way. Okay, so ten billion dollars because we're ten year commitment. Ten billion dollars. What job would you not do? What job? Would you choose to ne to turn down beekeeper? Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I just can't. It doesn't matter the amount of money. I cannot do it. I am I am physically unable to do it. It'd be so funny if you made billions. You bought some sports teams, but you still have to go to your nine to five, <laughs> right? Like you still got to go clean the sewers or whatever, whatever bad luck job you got. I mean, you could end up you could end up at random with an okay job. That is true. So I mean, in that in that case, like if we think half the jobs aren't great in the out there, but you choose a billion dollars a year, then billion dollars. I mean, it's a fifty-fifty yeah. shot at a good job. But that, this a billion dollar. It, I mean, uh, uh, do we have to Big, cap it? No, no. Okay, well, we could, but I was going to say, like, Biggie was right. You know, more money, more problems. Oh, you, for sure. It it can definitely creates a problems, but there there is definitely a part. It did for him. In the, yeah, it did. <laughs> but that's because he won't stop. You, you got to talk. Well, you don't talk about the money. There's no problems. <laughs> okay. uh, but there is definitely a part on the chart where your your increase of money and problems are, are going up at the same angle. Yeah. But then there uh, you hit a part where the problems just <laughs> just drop <laughs> off. And, and the y-axis goes, goes to zero. Goes down. And the money just keeps going no up. No more problems. Exactly. <laughs> more money. So I mo he never said yeah. mo mo money. Yeah, exactly. Mo mo, mo money, mo no problem. No problem. Boom doom. <laughs> Boom <laughs> ding doom. ding. Um, okay, so I'm going to, I mean, We're you have a chance. We're all taking the money. Of, yeah, sorry. We're all taking the money. No, I said I'd take the job. What? You'd pick the job? Yeah, because if I'm doing something I love, I mean, look, Al. He complains all the time. Well, sure. And his job but, is great. But most of the time it's Al, 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 I love my job. Al right. got, he loves his job. He left a higher salary to come work here when we were a startup. True. Um, he regrets it every single day. <laughs> I think he now, made. Do you? Are you happy with your choice? You ecstatic. are right. Yes. Okay. Let me ask you this real quick. I thought I know he said that the, to an extent. I know but he that said the, ecstatic. Okay. To an extent. <laughs> I, know, I know that that last job was very hard. It wasn't great for your mental health. If it was a billion dollars a year, <laughs> would you have had regrets coming here? That's a great question. Oh, man, that is a good question. The answer is yes. <laughs> I mean, a billion dollars, probably, yes. Yeah. But because the billion kind of breaks the game. If you give somebody a yes. billion dollars and then he could quit the next year after he gains a billion or halfway in with 500 million. Have you guys seen like the videos? This question has a 10 year contractual commitment. That's true. Sure. Okay. Would well, you still have. I worked for 10 years and then I've never. Work a damn. What if life. you die from stress over those ten years? I well, I I buy a new life. I buy a new body oh because I have gosh. so many billions of dollars. Have you guys seen the videos where they like actually like physically show you the difference between 
a billionaire oh, yeah. and a millionaire. Yes. And it's like, you think you understand it. This is more. It's 10 times more or something. You, you think you... It, uh, uh, well... <laughs> no, I know, but my point is... Your head thinks you understand the difference between a, a millionaire and a billionaire, but you don't until you really see it laid out. I can, I can lay it you. out for you because I read something very recently and I just found it. The Ameri- Did you just read it right now? <laughs> well, I just re- I re-found it. Oh, no, okay. no, no, no. I had seen like what... Like Jeff Bezos. Yeah. What the yeah, equivalent? Take that Bezos. What the equivalent is for Just him to spend to spend the same as an American would spend a dollar? The average American spending one dollar oh is gosh. the equivalent to Bezos, and the average uh, median net worth of a U.S. household is ninety-seven thousand three hundred dollars. Really, it's that high. So for a ninety-seven thousand as of October of twenty twenty income home, okay. spending one dollar is the same as Jeff Bezos spending. Well, the average is only that high because of Bezos, right? One point nine five million. Oh my god. Wait a minute. You're telling me <laughs> that him dropping two million dollars is what the this equivalent is of a of a buck. Business Insider dot com. I'm, I'm telling you, man, the billion it's it you can't our the, brains can't understand. The it. average person spends they gain two point two million dollars over the course of their entire life. Okay. He spends one point nine five million to equal a dollar. That is Jeff, there are, Jeff, there are so many good now, things I'm that seeing, you could get okay. done in this world. I'm seeing that now. That number seems wrong to me. I it doesn't matter. I don't care. You've, this we've, one, yeah, that's this a one fact says now. it's like eighty eight thousand. Mm, th- so. I think we're gonna stick with your fact right, of one point nine five million. This would have been a great liar liar. Uh, all right, Gouda from Patreon. Would you rather sleep without a pillow or sleep without a blanket? Your air conditioning must remain set at whatever setting you had it on last night, along with any fans in the room. Now, this is no covers, right? Not just no blanket, because I, I'm half the time I'm a sheet what, guy. Uh, of cu- okay, that, it's the same thing. Okay, yes. I just wanted to make because I'm like great, and we we understand how Jason sleeps. <laughs> yeah, all, it's a la mode, a la mode, as he said. <laughs> um, so just for context, I don't sleep with any fans, and my AC- really, you go fan off, dude. We don't use fans anywhere. What? It, what? We I don't know where you live. I haven't used fans in ten plus years. In any house I've ever been in. I don't understand. What's the did, matter? Did What's... you know that like scientifically when you're when you're under the fan, you're cooler? I do, but I... I, I, I mean, uh, it dries you out. I, I totally I got, get that. You know I had LASIK 10 plus years ago. And ever oh, since, the, yeah. Ever since then, I can't have dry uh, eyes. He sleeps with his eyes open. I forgot, I forgot that fan <laughs> really gets his eyes dry. So wait, you, I, I, I totally get it. You're in your, You're in your bed. Your fan is not on. Right. But I turn it. I mean, we keep it really cold. But because of your eyes, the whole family is not allowed to use fans. I don't. None of them. I don't know. We're just not a fam. Fan. A f- a family. <laughs> We're not a family. We're a great big family. Do your children not know about fans? Um, is that Jason? he's removed all the wall plates? Is this <laughs> like, there's no way to turn these. Do fans your children on. just think it's like a, a a bladed decoration in the in the ceiling? <laughs> Do we have any more ceiling uh, f- lamps? They're just lights. It's just a lamp. Why does this lamp have four arms? Yeah, we don't use them. Does is, is that make us weird? Yes. yes. Everyone's yeah. saying yes. Yeah, without a doubt. We live in <laughs> Arizona. Brooks, Jeremy, do you both use indoor fans? Yes, we do. Oh, yeah. On high, on medium, on low? Medium, usually. Yeah. Mike? Medium. Yeah, yeah. Uh, low to medium. High is... I know Jason's a high. High is a situation. I went into Jason's mm-hmm. house the other day to watch some of the Suns game. High is a, it's a problem. He probably just like... A, his water showering habits. The fan was clearly uh, rigged to be extra, extra, extra high. Is it stable? Yeah. No, oh, it's he was no shaking rocking. the house. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, the foundation. I do have one. I've got a fan in my master bedroom that has a click when it's on high. Just, oh, oh man. So I can't go high there. Um, but otherwise, I want all the wind blowing like a hurricane in my house, freezing uh temperatures i must be living the wrong life but nevertheless you thought about goggles i think i would sleep (laughs) just then you could turn your fan on but like your word swim goggles these are my sleeping goggles (laughs) oh i hate you guys just just all parts of just all parts of the day when you come in right by the door you got your got your house goggles you you put on your house slippers you put on a robe and you put now they can be bigger than swimming goggles they're like the old motorcycle goggles so you really have a good field of vision i don't know why we don't use fans like snowboard goggles exactly okay i think you'd look awesome in those andy 
just and then you can shuffle around, and the then house. you can use your ceiling lamps again. Well, I think it would introduce a new level of uh, problems to my life. <laughs> Every day I take off my house goggles and I got those big old rings around my eyes. <laughs> uh, um, I can't believe you don't use your fans. Ne- we never do. There's Why? No- oh, we even got one removed. We just took no, it out. No, you got a fan removed? I yeah. hate that ceiling lamp. Get it out of here. Get it, send it over. I always <laughs> need more fans. Um, well, you guys are sweatier than I am. Oh, I'm sweaty in, in a refrigerator. <laughs> uh, I will sleep without a pillow. I'd rather have the Oh, blanket. there was a question. I'd like to I'd like the temperature control perfectly. I feel like I navigate the temperature control with blanket very well. I'm a feet out the bottom. Me too. Me blanket too. Blanket over the middle. Okay. And then um Well it's a situation because the blanket is not just temperature control. Like the the blanket is also it, 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 Okay. It's what just, else is it? When you're sleeping it's like a uh it makes you feel safe. Like a like a now. Do you sleep with a now? Just understand this. Hot Arizona. How thick's your comforter during the summer? It's a duvet. Yeah, me me too. Okay, that's thin, right? No, because it's stuffed. It's thinnish. Well, it just depends on what you're putting inside. So how much? See, I basically take that thing off. I I just just sleep with the sheet. Yeah, I just cover the alamode part, and then (laughs) um, like a washcloth. Right. Like (laughs) I just have a piece of the blanket. (laughs) And then I'm and then I'm top and bottom out of the covers. Now you see, I don't wear underpants, <laughs> so I can cover it yeah, with this see. sheet. No, I mean I'm with you, Andy. I'm usually a leg out, but then oh yeah, but then by the middle of the night, your your core temperature has dropped, and now you need the you need the blankie. I don't put uh, any uh, any hotel with the the tuck at the bottom. Oh oh, what are they doing? That's a nightmare. What are they? What? I feel like a panic attack coming when that happens. Oh, I know yes. what you're talking about. That's that's where you grab. The, sh- the sheets and, and blankets. And rip it. And you kick your feet so hard that you rip those sheets out. And then, and then when you're done and you're ready to leave the room, you throw all the sheets on the ground. You say, this is what you <laughs> get, staff. Don't you, tuck my, don't you tuck my sheets under the bed. This is what you get. I'm putting it in the bathtub. <laughs> Just and t- turn all the water on <laughs> and then I leave. <laughs> That's right. And then I clock You the waste seat. my time. I waste yours. <laughs> And then I I open the mini fridge and I leave it open. That's right. All the windows open. The TV's on full blast volume. That's Take right. Take that. Don't you dare tuck my sheets in. They'll know what they do. Yeah, they'll know. <laughs> they'll. Know. I don't even need to give a reason. They're going to walk in and see, say, see oh, the room a mess. Sheets again. Sheets, we did. sheets got me. Final answers. I, I'm taking the pillow because I have one pillow oh, that I love. Oh, great. And uh, I hate it. I know what that pillow. means for... Yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> sorry, you're gonna want to knock, Mike. Final answer. Uh, I don't know how you. S- I don't know that I could sleep without a pillow. All right, I got to quiz you guys now. Sleep habits revealed. Yeah. Okay. Um, how many pillows do you sleep with? One. Uno. One. Yep. You don't have a hug pillow. Nope. A hug pillow. Nope. Uh, honestly, honestly. Any of you guys over there have the a hug, hug, hug pillow? I do. Two, Al- two under the head and one to hug. Two, two under at the, the head. head. Yep. Hold, well, on, you've got the hold on. Hold on. What lavish light. Three pillows? It's, they're That's not right. that expensive, Mike. Pillows can be really yes, expensive. Yes, they are. I mean, I bought every one that exists. I saved my money from my previous job. <laughs> um, I have a hug pillow, yeah. I sleep uh, on my stomach. Pillow? Yeah, but see, I sleep on my stomach, too. The hug I pillow, hug my regular pillow. The hug pillow for me is oftentimes the covers. You know what I mean? Like if you're on your side and you kind of ball it up so a little bit. So you understand the need for a little hug. I do understand the need for a hug pillow, and sometimes I've got a knee pillow. You know. Well, I understand a knee pillow because yeah. that if you're a side sleeper That's cozy. and you have a and you have a back situation, mm-hmm. you need a uh, knee pillow. I mean, I've never <clears throat> never done that because it's weird. Yeah, but I understand it. Thank you. But it, I mean, that's also not as weird as a hug pillow. How many pillows, Brooks? Just a single. <laughs> now here's here's the, the one thing on the pillows. <laughs> Cheapskate that, that we do have. Yeah, <laughs> what an idiot! I also use one, but um, what a loser. Uh, when when I'm our be- when our bed is made. I have to remove seventy-two pillows in order to sleep with one I pillow. I hate that life. And and I do I do that the way that I uh, tear the sheets off in the hotel room. I'm teaching oh, a lesson. Oh, you throw here. them all over oh, every they're, time. These, every time that Who pillow's puts them going, back the next day. My wife <laughs> and I just I'm gonna spread these pillows out. You're gonna be walk. You want to make this bed? You got to walk around the house find these pillows. My, my wife bought a throw pillow once that was so ugly that I it became a vendetta. Like this pillow, I started hiding it. I'd hide the pillow, and then she'd find the pillow. And then I'd hide the pillow, and this was all over the place, high in the closet. It's a nice little marital game. Eventually, 
You hit it in the garbage. Eventually, can. I cut it with um, like a Ooh, like a jigsaw, nice. and it was over. Oh wow! Oh, brutal. that's brutal. The, the and I filmed it, and I sent it to her. <laughs> and you sent a, a ransom note of yeah. cutout magazine yeah. letters. It was a table saw. Actually, the last purchase we made for our bed is a sensational purchase. Is is uh, the new sheet and duvet set? My mm-hmm. wife intentionally bought something, and I don't wherever she's getting the the. The design information, whatever. She's like, no, I got this because, you know, it's more casual. And is it a when, split? It, no, no, it's not oh, a split. Okay. But it's, it's uh, the design aesthetic of it is when you it's made so when you don't make your bed, it doesn't look as bad. That's the point. Th- that's that's just one of the no. It's one of the benefits. And so it's like, how's that possible? So, so if I don't make the bed, it's still I'm using it the right it's way. Still okay. <laughs> Well, all but right. Th- then. This company said so. This company said it's okay if you don't make your bed, and then it's true, and then you buy it, and then w- and, and it's true. Oh, since we're on this topic of which I don't will even stay for the remainder of the show, hundred uh, percent. And this is going to be probably a six or seven hour episode. Now, um, we recently sold our house, had to move, and when we were listing it on the market, we did got you a- move because you sold your? <laughs> yes, we moved so because we, we sold, sold our house. Just laughed we- at his own stupid joke. <laughs> It was good. No, it was so, good. So here's the thing: we got a new, I had to move a new bed sheet set to have it look good for pres- You know, when people walk through the house, yeah, to have a stage nice, the house. To, that was sure. the word I was looking you for. You bought a staging bed set, and there is this new trend that is the stupidest <clears throat> freaking thing in the world. And actually, I believe I'm not positive, but I'm pretty confident that it primarily came from your wife, Andy. Oh no! Where you take this little blanket there's a little tiny uh like a throw a throw and you put it on the corner of your made oh, bed gosh. you just throw this messy yeah. blanket on the corner you've you throw made the throw you've made your it bed it's called a throw you've made your bed and then you throw a throw on the corner but you got to get it perfectly like i watched my wife and your wife futz around with getting the wrinkles it, it, just it, right it, it can't be sharp no it's got to look like this was Casual. an accident okay oh. <laughs> this was totally like, an accident like i just walked by and i Oh, this this thing I should just drop this right and here. And there is literally no other purpose to this thing isn't big enough to be used for a blanket. This is just to be a messy corner of a bed. What? What is with decorations? So, so do you have that and all the pillows? Oh yeah. I mean, my bed is it's Mount Everest when it's made, <laughs> man. All right. I guess we'll move on. Oh, it's brutal. Um, Cody from Patreon, would you rather everything you ate be crispy and crunchy oh or soft and tender oh this is a this is an excellent would you rather man my teeth would break with the <laughs> <laughs> with the crispy and the crunchy yes man Grandpa. i i feel like if so these are both really important to everyone's life and you've got to give up one I feel like if I had to give up one of these forever, it would I would have to give up the soft and tender. I've got to have the the crunch, the crisp. I mean, that means you're eating soggy cereal, oh, right? Yeah. You, 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 or okay. just you're probably just not eating cereal ever again. Yeah. Because who would choose to just eat soggy cereal? Um, Your steak would be crunchy, but a nice sear on the outside of a steak is yeah, fantastic. I agree with that. And the inside, or is that is, wait? Does this mean no, like every it, single? No, thing? the outside. Like yeah, everything like, you're eating is crispy and crunchy. But, but like a potato chip or would like like a because uh, a crispy chicken you sandwich. You don't just get away with one or two crispy no, bites and then it becomes no, no, tender. A, crisp, a crispy chicken sandwich. It's is not that, crispy in the middle. But it, it's, it, if I if I give up the soft tender life, can I still eat a crispy chicken sandwich? It's in the name. I don't know. But is Sal, it help. That's tough. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking it would be like crunchy through and through. Well, then I'm getting rid so of that. I'm so eating, I can't eat anything. It's I'm potato eating chips. chips. <laughs> yes. Well, it's not. It's everything you eat would have that to it. Right, or you be chomping. Vet, you can eat vegetables. Those are very crispy. okay. That's uh, raw. I can eat yes. raw vegetables, yeah. um, but not like a cucumber because the inside no, is it's a little, you yeah. know, it's a little little soft. Yeah. Um. So then, no, I'm pivoting. Mushrooms then. are out. Yeah. No way. I'm gonna go with soft because there's plenty of things that are soft and are currently good. Like uh, it's funny. Ice I just cream. read the question so differently. Like so, I just read the question is everything you eat. Is always crunchy, or everything you eat is always so. You're tender, telling but I'm me not saying a hard shelled taco is not a crunchy food. That's pretty crunchy, yeah. I mean, I'm not trying to die on this hill. I just I need to know. 
I, no, you don't. We're moving on. <laughs> Calvin from the website. You are no longer allowed to go by your first name. Would you rather oh. go by your middle name or your last name? Now, Mike, your middle name is Timothy? That is correct. It is the name of my father. And Jason, your middle name is Randall? Randall. Two L's. Or actually, your middle name is Randall? Jason, isn't it? No, no, my middle name is Randall. You're oh, thinking okay. about when you, you used met to be me, called Randall. Uh, actually, you didn't. You met me when I was Jason. But yes, growing up, my name was you Randy. You met me when I was Jason. Yes. <laughs> it well, did sound I, funny. Like before high school, I was Randy. Randy was my name. Every friend, every teacher, every schoolmate, everybody. My and whole the smells. My name was forever Randy. Okay, I, I. This is part of the story. I don't think I knew. I, I, I thought it was just your family called you that. No, but you're saying at roll call at school. Yes, was Randy Moore. Randy Moore. That's right. And, now, and you changed your name. Yes, because my actual name is Jason. So I did not change my name. That's fair. But I was registered at school. Okay, as, well, the, okay, hold, hold but on. you made a decision at one point that That's, you didn't like. Uh, yeah, it. I, I like it. Well, that, I changed it because that was my name. Skipping over the part where at the beginning of your life you weren't using your name. That's right. I made a formal Andrew to Andy transition That's in fine. third grade. Oh, mine was in third grade too. Yeah, from Michael to Mike. Yeah, yeah. Because well, we were, you know, well, we were the, really breaking out of the mold. The, the the whole reason was there was two there was two Michaels. Oh, so you had a cause, and it was I like, like Andy I sounds had a, cool. I, I had a cause of. too. There was a new kid in school. You had multiple Randys, and it was a Randy. But here's the problem: I've met like a it Randy. was a girl. Okay, I could. I was a, I was oh, a great you schooler. In, you were shamed, and I no, I was. I was like, wait, Randy's a girl's <laughs> name. <laughs> Because I, I had it's, never met a Randy. It's fine for both. Well, I know that now, but then it was like, <laughs> then it was literally, because that wasn't my name, right? My my middle name was Randall. I don't think so Randy, that was Randy like a, Travis wasn't really big wait, then. Dude, oh, no, I like it. So you, you you went by Randy. Your name was actually Randall. You're like, oh, I could go to Randall. No, I, this is so terrible. I have to completely change. I need a full rebrand. Yeah. And no, Randy's dead. It's time for Jason Moore. I came back the next school year. I'm Jason now. Oh, so you did you, it on summer break. Oh, 100%. Did you introduce yourself as a new person? I, you know, I don't, I don't remember how that went, but did I you definitely like dye your hair. It was, it was in, it was, it he was probably limp, he had a limp get, now. Get a leather jacket where you're like, I'm the cool one. I think it was between <laughs> hey. fifth and sixth grade. I left Randy. I came back, Jason, and the rest is history. All right, so you either have to go by Randall or Moore. Okay, Mike, you have to go by Timothy or Wright. Can I? Can I can't be Tim. And my middle name is Michael. It's a good name. <laughs> so I could go by Michael. Can we be the, the shortened version? Mike? Yeah. Tim? Mike? No, 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 Tim. Tim. Rand? Tim. Randy? <laughs> Ur. Ur. Can, I, can I go back to Randy? The problem uh, The problem with last names is, and I, I mean, I've had this problem since birth because my last name was Wright. One syllable last names hmm. don't work for calling people oh. by their last name. But he oh, wants yeah. to be Tim. No, 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 well, no, no, no. I get it because he's saying, look, if... Hey Holloway, get over here. That's oh, easy. Oh yeah, don't that yeah, that's but that's, more, right? Yeah. Both of those would be like Right especially. And they're both words. They're both other regular words. Right, Your last yeah. name is hey, give me some more. Hey, you're right. You're like, you're hey, wrong. Grantham. You like that, that Yeah, that works. That, that works. works. So I've I've been denied. I've never so you're Tim. I have never ever been called at any point in my life by my last name. Not okay. even not even in PE. When the PE teacher calls every single person by their last name. I was never my last name. Did you name. get them both together? Was it Mike Wright? Uh, no, it was Michael. Oh, gosh. So I guess. Because it's two syllables. We're going with Mike, Tim, and Randy. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> Mike, Tim, and Randy. This show just changed. <laughs> it's time, guys. Uh, but it's actually, I, I'm uh, Big T. Oh, hi, hi, T. Hi, T. Hi, T. <laughs> All right, it's time for a very important segment. Oh, yes. Liar, liar, pants on fire. All right. I'm so excited. <sighs> if you have not joined us before, uh, then you don't know the current record of Al Portland versus the three of us in Liar, Liar. It is three I, rounds. I just read the first one. Three rounds, and it is two truths and a lie. We have to identify the lie in each round, and if we do it three times, we defeat our arch enemy. <laughs> there's, there's no way I'm a, this I'm, first one. I'm already out, man. There's no way this first. 
<laughs> oh, Spitwads, you're going to like this. Round I'm, one. I'm out. Round one. Fact one. The CEO of Food for the Poor, one of the largest international food relief organizations, is named Robin <laughs> Mafood. <laughs> Come on. There's no way. That can't be true. The, first of all, there's no way that anybody is named Robin Mafood. <laughs> like anyone, let alone the CEO of Food for the Poor. Robin Mafood. <laughs> all right. Oh all right. The second, the second. This is Robin Mafood. Yeah. CEO. Uh, Second fact. Mafood. Robin Mafood. <laughs> he never goes by his last name. Um, Robin M. Fact number two. Before becoming uh, one of the nation's largest pharmacies, CVS was founded as an ice cream shop whose name stood for chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. <laughs> yes! CVS chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is, Al, Al, you have done it. This is this is incredible work. One of those Thank two you. is true, no matter what. That's that's why this is so good. Oh my I gosh. can't wait for the third. Oh my He's gosh, it's so hot in here. All right, one number of those, three. One of those is a true. One statement. of those is true. There's either the CEO is <laughs> Robin Mafood. <laughs> oh man. Okay, fact three. I got to get this out. <laughs> When getting a kidney transplant, uh, they typically just leave your original kidney in your body and put the third no. kidney in your pelvis. No. That can't be That's true. That's not That's gotta nearly be true. as That's funny. That's got to be true. Okay. It's that, pretty funny, but. Man. So he put two hysterical factoids in here and one that is completely. Chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay. So, but possible. So here's why that's possible. It, I'm, 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 I mean, those places I'm started racking, as soda shops. That's exactly. Yeah, I was thinking, Walgreens and them. They the, started as soda the shops. The soda jerk back yeah. when you in the old time. Yes. When you bought a soda pop, you went to the pharmacy. You did for the soda. Yeah, which, and that's when they so served you Coca-Cola with cocaine in it. Yeah, so this is. This is theoretically possible. I can't rule. I can rule none of these out. Oh, I, mean, I can rule one out. I can rule one <laughs> Robin out. Mafood. Robin Mafood is not real. I mean, real. that's such a creative lie, though, it because is, it's. I mean, it's I don't, too obvious, right? It's too. It like yeah, I, it's like and it's too subtle. Like a, the joke, Robin Mafood. Ru reading through these, it seems like we're supposed to pick the kidney transplant because that one seems okay. like the most believable to me. But He's there, setting us up to lose it, from the top. But it doesn't sound believable. <clears throat> like, when you're putting in a body part, you have to connect it to, like, not using the correct terms here, but essentially the tubes. Like, <laughs> you have to hook things up. You can't just say, well, well, well that means we'll maybe, the, maybe the, the first two are right. And this, that, the was the, that was the setup. Well, no, the I'm first one can't be right because his name is not Robin <laughs> Mafood. <laughs> So I'm locking that in. There's no, I, I will die on this hill. The CEO of Food for the Poor cannot possibly be named Robin okay. Mafood. Well, I'm, I am thrilled that one of us locked that one in. Because I, I, where, where do you lean in? I lean that the CVS one is true. And I lean, I think the kidney one's wrong. Why in the world would they leave the original? I don't know. It ain't hurting nothing. It's a transplant. I've, I'm going to lock that one in as the lie. The kidney transplants the lie. Final answer. It's just... Yeah. <laughs> Robin Mafood. <laughs> he knew uh, that that would get us. Uh, do I go... Do I gamify this or do I go with my heart? No, you go with no, you what go you with think your heart is right. Because you're going to regret I, it. I don't. want us to do what we think is correct because I want one of us to beat Ooh. Al Borland. I... I feel like the kidney one has to be alive. So then come with me. All right. Thelma Louise style. All right. Let's see oh, if we go down oh, together. Please just don't be the CVS one. All right, Al. Can I save the rest of this content for the next Liar Liar? Oh, no. Since it's we're not going to need it today. C no. <laughs> yes, the CVS no! one was the lie. No! It stands what? for Consumer Value Stores. Oh, my goodness. You're telling me that the CEO of Food for the Poor 
is named Robin <laughs> Mahfoud? That's impossible! Oh my gosh. Also, the third kidney goes in your pelvis? Oh my god. Do they they just like they cut it in right there? It's it's real. Robin that is Ma- correct. Robin Mafood is real. I'm Googling. Oh my goodness gracious. The guys dig naked. Oh man. Uh, do we move on or do we just go to the draft? What do we, we go, do now? We go to the next one. We still have to play. All right, for let's our at least winner. practice. All right, round two. Years after the famous assassination, the son of John Wilkes Booth inadvertently saved the son of Abraham Lincoln from oh, being come hit on. by a, from being hit by a train. The two had never met. When William Lincoln was informed who the man was who just saved him, he pulled out his pistol and shot Edwin Booth on sight. <laughs> how? Come on, man! Are these all lies? If that's true, how was how was that not out there? All right, are, are we we regret that one? Let me read. The next one. Current okay. internet protocol supports enough IP addresses for every single atom on Earth to have a unique IP address and still have enough left over to do another 100 Earths. I believe that one. In World War II, the U.S. De- developed the Bat Bomb, which was a bomb dropped by an aircraft which would open and release a 1,000 bats strapped with explosives on timers. <laughs> the bats would disperse to a 40-mile radius before exploding the building they chose to roost I in. I believe that one, too. Uh, that is absolutely insane, and I'm I totally believe that. I'm locking in the John Wilkes Booth one's a lie. It's so long, though. That's the thing that I I just can't imagine that Al would have written this huge, long paragraph about that. I'm the the IP addresses seems like it has to be true. That one's mathematically easy. Remember the birthday one? Yeah, because there, like- there's twelve there's twelve digits in an IP address. Uh, so I yeah, I mean that. The combinations is is a very large number. Oh. I'm with Andy. I'm, I, if that's true, then come on, come on. History. Why didn't I hear All about right. that? Yeah, like history lessons. Come on, like we are failing so bad. Okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go with you guys because we're gonna oh, we're gonna triple. We're gonna triple. I I think that the, that's that's ridiculous. You what? guys got that one right. Yes. All right. Okay. okay. I guess I got a little wordy on it. Yeah. You did get a little wordy, oh. but you already beat us. Round three. Because cats spend up to 30% of their time grooming themselves, they lose about as much fluid through saliva as they do through urination. Okay. Seems possible. Okay. Fact two, lobsters have bladders on either side of their heads. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough for you. Mm. And they communicate by squirting urine at each other. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, they're, they're giant dumb monsters, so this... They're giant dung monsters. Dumb. No, I know. Are they dung, dung too? They poop a lot. No, they just roam on the floor where all the poop is. My yeah. understanding is they also squirt urine at each other. So, <laughs> in 2017, Lady Gaga arrived at the American Music Awards ceremony wearing a 1.2 million dollar wig made from the mane of an of American Pharaoh, the Triple Crown winning racehorse. That sounds completely feasible. Didn't wait. Did American Pharaoh win the Triple Crown? It sounds right. Sounds right. It's I don't. I don't remember good. many horses' names, and I do remember that. Yeah, horse I remember name. that name. Um, what was what was the uh, who's the big time horse that everyone compares like this horse is heralded? Secretariat. Yeah. Yeah. Triple Crown winner. So was it? I think anyway. American Pharaoh was the the, the first, first one since 1973 or something. Uh, I will lock in cats as the lie. I will lock in lobsters as the lie. Now we the three of us are tied right now, so we're just competing against each other. That's true. <clears throat> well, screw it then. <laughs> You're going I'll, Gaga. I'll roll. The, if I had rolled the dice in the first one, I'd still be alive. Uh, that's true. If Take you... me to victory, Lady Gaga. One's a lie. I'm locking it in. All right, Mike, you won this one. The yes, Lady Gaga oh, one is man. the lie. Yes, I would have. Well, that, that, that's the funny thing. I didn't want you to have regret, so we wanted you to go with your heart. Yeah, you can't. You can't be like we talked you out of making the pick that you wanted to make. We said pick whichever one you want. Yeah, and I did, and I was wrong. All right, <laughs> but you, we're a team, guys. You win again, Al. You win again. You stupid, stupid man. The Spitballers Draft. Robin. Robin. <laughs> oh man, I wonder if that got him the job at that uh, point. Yeah, like did he go towards? Food for the needy because his name was Robin Mafood. He felt so bad his whole life. And he had to be a bully in school, though, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everyone just had to give him pay his food. Up. 
All right, we are drafting legendary ways to meet your demise. I talked about it at the top of the show, but if you're just joining us for the draft right now, these are legendary ways that you die. But you'll be remembered because of the way that you met That's your right. demise. It's etched on your tombstone. It this could, is the man who died by... It could be incredible. It could be Darwinian. You know, it's, it's Yeah, up there to are us. different ways, right? Different, exciting, um, or... Even on my own list, I've got things that are cool, things that are crazy, things... We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, legendary does not necessarily mean something that is esteemed. It could be unique. Like, let me put it this way. It is legendary that the CEO <laughs> <laughs> is named Robin Mafoot. All right. I don't think... I mean, of all the drafts... There's no 101 here. No. Uh, there are definitely <clears throat> some hippopotamus picks <laughs> for this. Draft. Yeah, and I'm not – look, I'm not I, – I told you guys this earlier. I'm not really picking based off of, oh, this would hurt more. I'm not – this is not sure. like the most convenient way to meet my demise or the most like, yeah, yeah, pain-free yeah. way. This is like legendary. Well, like, we all – not we all. I won't say that. But, you know, it's going – passing in your sleep. Yeah, that would be the way preferred, like, I right? Mean, that, it seems like the way you want to go, except I, I can't remember. It might have been like a Monty Python bit. Someone had a bit about people passing their sleep. And it's like, no, it's not good. Uh, but like, you're not remembered. You're not, yes, you're not remembered. This needs to be. It's not a legendary day. This no. is the answer to the question when they go to my wife and they say, how did he die? Oh, yeah. And then she you're says, gonna hear this. well, and I'm going to start with, he fell into a volcano. Darn oh, it. that's a great one. Is that on? That's actually my on one hundred and one was cannonball into a volcano. <laughs> so I mean, talk about a how crazy that we would, we didn't think we'd have any in common. No, and mine was wow. Better. Yeah, so via volcano because I don't know anybody that's gone via volcano. Well, especially if, if you're going. I mean, now you could have gone Pompeii route with volcano too. You know where you're like etched in history you know how right. the ash fell yeah, so yeah, quickly yeah, yeah, yeah. A absolutely but i think just hop, I, hopping right in like falling because because you can't really fall fall into a, an active volcano cannonball i mean you can make the decision yeah. yeah i mean i might be coming out of a helicopter at that point yeah yeah i mean but, I'm, i mean that's that's an i'm hiking one. up there i'm posing for a picture i'm whoa <laughs> and then um splash all right. All right. Okay. So, Darn it. You took my first one off my list. And how cool would that people walking through the cemetery reading that? Yeah. Oh, that dude, he lived. He <laughs> lived the way he died. That's a wild man right there. That's yeah, a wild man. All right. Well, that, okay, I, I like it. Falling into a volcano. Uh, my first legendary way to <laughs> meet your demise. I can't wait to hear these. Well, this, I'm, I'm, I'm working up to it. <laughs> oh, no. Up, but I'm going to start with like, do this, like, like you said, tombstone. This is the classic comic book. That's saving orphans from a burning building. Oh, okay. you want to be remembered? I'm a hero, fellas. Okay, I'm okay, a hero. So I went down are. in the building, but those orphans. You are. They made it You're out. You're not just you saving save? regular kids. These no, are no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, they have not, no parents. No, they needed saving, and only Mike Wright was there. Oh man, may he be remembered for his legendary deeds. Now here's that's the right. thing. Now, did you, you go in after you got them all out? You went in one more time to see if there were any more. And that's no, when no, you died a, as the as the final. I have the final one in my arms. Uh huh. And I just, I realize it dive. I realize it's it's coming down on uh -huh, me. So I just yeah. I I huck him out the, <laughs> the door. That's right. He he survived <laughs> just fine. But the well, building, the, the the cowardly firemen who wouldn't go into the fire, right. they catch. The final orphan, mm -hmm. and I, I just, I do the, I raise my hand slowly. Oh, the goodbye. <laughs> yeah, I raise it slowly, and that's when it all just one collapses. tear comes down your eye. <laughs> yes. Also, thank you for your service, fireman. <laughs> yeah, the cowardly <laughs> fireman. <laughs> you guys a are Mike awesome. Right quote. <laughs> okay, well, look, <laughs> um, <laughs> that's not spitballers brand. <laughs> so here's the thing, um, because I can't cannonball into a volcano that's been taken, uh, and you certainly uh, wouldn't save orphans. No, 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 I am saving orphans actually. That is that. <laughs> but every, every pick is every pick is. I <laughs> saved orphans. No, no, no. I saved orphans. Um, I saved their parents, wherever they are, if they're still around. I saved oh. humanity because I flew a rocket into an asteroid <laughs> to save the world. Okay, that's how I okay. remember me. I saved Earth. Okay. Okay. Just you and one rocket. Just, yeah, I've seen Armageddon. You know, <laughs> you, you want Bruce, Bruce Willis. I want Bruce Willis. This thing. 
I want to believe that you aimed your rocket at that thing and you just missed by th- <laughs> just- <laughs> hundreds of miles. You're off into space. You <laughs> saved nobody. He's looking at the radar. <laughs> Looking at the radar. The meteor's coming to me. <laughs> he's, he's just he's going and now, and now, ironically, I'm the last one left. <laughs> true. Because true. As you slowly ascend further into space. Man, that would be a terrifying way to that's go. Not a, that's not a good way to go. Slowly. Okay, so uh, I have flown a rocket okay. um, into an asteroid to save the world. This one is not so noble. <laughs> okay. Um, and apparently I'm just going from movies because that one was Armageddon. This one's going to come from seven. I'm going to eat myself <laughs> to death. I'm going to overeat to death. How did he die? Oh, he's a hungry he, man. He died the way he lived. He died the way he lived. <laughs> thin Overeating. Wayfair. That's another Monty Python reference, by the yeah, way. Yeah, Thin Wayfair. Thin Wayfair. <laughs> Poof. So. All right. You ate yourself to death. Yeah. Legendary. That you would go down in history if you went the Monty Python explosion. What would it route. be? Would it be uh, smorgasbord or it would one? be? It would be desserts. It would be dessert. <laughs> it'd be whatever path. Danishes. Ba- yes, Danishes first. First thing that came to mind, and um, probably the last thing that goes in the body. Um, okay, Mike, you're back on the clock. Yep, you've saved your orphans. Now let's see how legendary you really All are. All right, now we're gonna we're gonna slowly slowly ramp up. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this one is, this one is just, it, look, it's just legendary. <laughs> That's all I can say about it. Very Darwinian. I am not, av- I am not, not uh, avoiding. I'm actively running into a tornado. Oh, oh yeah. I'm going Leroy Jenkins into a tornado? right into an F5. And you're getting sent <laughs> flying. Who knows? Yeah. You'll be like Superman for a while. <laughs> Why? Is you, <laughs> I mean, well, well inside I might be impaled with debris while That's inside. True. You probably I probably no, would be. We don't know because people aren't running into tornadoes. I don't think anybody ever we're has. Not, we're not First science <laughs> as he runs in. <laughs> He's holding some sort of like scientific gizmo in his hand. At least a yeah. GoPro. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. That, that'll make it out. <laughs> running into a tornado. Spectacular. <laughs> All right, I have two picks. I am going to open this one up with a majestic, spectacular feat. Almost. Ooh, okay. Almost, because that's the demise part. A motorcycle jump over the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Dude, you, I have I have being shot out of a cannon in the Grand Canyon. I have shot canyon. out of a cannon in mine as well. Oh, man. So oh. I am evil Knieveling this, but I don't quite make it. But this is broadcast everywhere. Oh, yeah. How yeah. did he die? motorcycle jump over the let me game. show you i've got the tape <laughs> all right so you, you could see the exact moment where he knows it's gonna happen <laughs> yes yes uh so my next pick is more difficult but um i'm gonna go eaten by a great white shark oh, oh man yeah. okay doesn't happen to a lot of people no. and um man that'll be that'll be a story man you guys are you guys are killing my list. Not with exact picks, but, but close like, enough. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. You can't could, be like eaten by a mountain yeah. lion now or anything else. Is yeah. he, eaten by an animal, and he picked great white. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a good pick. Yeah, one bite. All right. You hope. <laughs> I hope. I really hope. All right. Now I don't really want running into a tornado on my gravestone. Like that's right. no. Like people. I mean, people will be shocked. But so far, you've run into a burning building. You've run into a tornado. Where so. are you running to next? Well, I've, uh, I've, I've, I'm in a fight, guys. Oh. Uh-oh. Fighting a bear. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you now put that on my tombstone. Now it's he, in, he, he lost a fight he to a bear. Fighting a bear. It is important that the people that live after you know that you were fighting the bear. He didn't just maul you and kill you. That's right. That's right. I was not. Because I, I don't think those are very legendary. I was not attacked. I pick, you I picked, picked a fight. fight. You ran into the den. That's right. So now you're running into the den. That's right. He's 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 going. All right. I gave her the old tap on the shoulder. The bear turns around and then play. Did you have a samurai sword? No, no. They're fisticuffs. All right. You can't go out with the sword. You got to fight a bear with your hands. Jason, you are back for your oh. final two picks. Okay. All right. Um, let's see here. So I- far, you're eating yourself <laughs> to death and saving humanity uh, by flying a rocket into an asteroid. Yeah. Um, so I, I've really got a wide variety here of, um, you know, things that are noble or things that are ridiculous. Um, and I'm going to stay a little bit more on brand. 
um, and ridiculous and stay a little bit more ridiculous. I am going to be the first person actually sawed in half by a magician. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Did I take that off your list? Cut in half during a magic show was my number four pick. I was yeah. saving it for the end. Yeah, baby. That is unbelievable. How did you both come up with that? I mean, I don't know. It's We're, right there. I mean, the fact that we both had fall into a volcano and cut in half by a magician. I thought we would have nothing in common. That was literally my go-to that no one would pick. I mean, that would just be such a good story. Wait, so he was fine, right? No, no, it was a bad magician. Cut in half during a magic show. That, well done. Okay. Derek, that's a good one. That is so good. All right. And and uh, sticking on brand here, I'll just, I, these aren't poll winners. These are just who I am. Um, eating myself to death and attempting to land a plane <laughs> because <laughs> here, here, here uh, I think we've established yeah. um, that I, I think I can do it. And so I'm going to, I'm going to do my best to try and we'll see how it works out. My tombstone will say he was wrong. <laughs> he was. That's all, all it will say. He was wrong. <sighs> all right. All right, Mike. You have one pick left, and so, you look like a man who knows what it is, and, <laughs> no, and is afraid to say it. I'm not proud. Of this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> but it was legitimately the first thing. <laughs> oh no. It was it the was, first thing you thought it of. It was the first thing. It was legendary ways because. It's le just it's legendary ways to go out, guys. <laughs> oh no. Okay. It's a stick of dynamite in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. What was, that the, was scat? the first what thing you thought of? A do do boom doom. A boom doom indeed. <laughs> boom doom. That's the boom doom. That's the boom of doom. <laughs> That's <laughs> stick of dynamite. If you imagine that on your tombstone, <laughs> Mike is very much enjoying. Oh the, my gosh! Like you got, you, you gotta, went from the extreme of saving orphans to now I told a stick you, of dynamite. We were gonna build up to it. <laughs> okay, that's a good hippopotamus. Look, I'm everywhere. <laughs> yes, yes, you are. You yes, are yes, everywhere. You are. <laughs> Okay. All right. We've got to go. We've got, I got my final pick. So several options. You still have several options? I do too. I have a few, but I none. was running out. Like I had gotten to the point where I'm, I don't know if I'm going to pick that, but you forced my hand. Man, I don't, I'm, I'm trying oh. to decide which one to go with here. And, um, <laughs> So far, okay. So I'll I'll buy you some time. So you have falling into a volcano, motorcycle jump over most of the Grand Canyon. Yeah, because I figure if you get over, you're you're gonna live. Eaten by a great white shark. How are you gonna close off? Uh, I'm eaten by piranhas. Oh, you're oh. eaten by an oh. I'm, I'm eaten not. by another animal. <laughs> Is this I thought the about same trampled time? by a moose. Oh, okay. Um, I thought about being kicked by a horse. <laughs> but that doesn't seem legendary. No. And that happens. Just yeah, that, painful. Yeah. I thought about some poison stuff, but that sounds bad. Yeah. You just you But just not many people are poisoned anymore. Like that's a that's an yeah. ancient way of uh but piranhas is like Yeah. But I'm cannonball here too. I mean, don't get me wrong. Well I'm hopping right into the middle and I'm gonna see right how quick into the this Amazon? goes. Right into the Amazon. Right into the Amazon. It, it, it's not fast. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, think it's, it's like the, the movies. It is in my head. I don't. I. I, like, I hope I, for you it is a great white. I think is going to be pretty Quicker. rapid. Yeah, I, it's I not still instant. But I still can't believe that you drafted my fourth pick cut in half during a. Oh, magic is that show. so? You you tilted. You didn't have your real fourth. No, pick. No, I didn't. I mean, I have. I have like real like sinking on the Titanic or something. Oh, I thought that was a pretty. You know, they remember those people. Yeah, as as a group, and then being yeah. you know being buried alive. It Ooh, just sounds that's scary. That's terrifying. Not not. What about a mudslide? Anybody for a mudslide? I mean, that, that would not be very Little fun. I, I've got struck by lightning. Yeah. I was because trying. I was hoping maybe if I don't die, I assume I get superpowers. Yeah, that's it's the trade-off. It's 50-50. Most people have died. Mo right, but I'm I'm thinking I've got a lot of LBs, so maybe I could take it. Maybe like, I could do the superpowers. Mike, uh, you got anything? That just uh, left on my list was ejected into space. I, I had... Uh, but you, yours, was, yours was already space-related. Yep. I, and then Andy took Great White. 
So I mean, it's it's pretty different. But I I thought about like, what if you were swarmed by crabs? Oh, right? that's that's like a terrifying. really bad case of them. <laughs> Yep. That would be a bad, <laughs> bad case no, of crabs. Well, I mean, swallowed by a whale is another go-to, too. But, but have, have, you, have you seen the videos of, I don't know the real maybe Nobody's ever died by crab. I know. That's why this is legendary. But have you seen the videos of, I, maybe you just call it Crab Island, but where there's just like hundreds of thousands of these things no. all make... Oh, you got to look The island, up. tell me, the, I, the actual <clears throat> uh, geographic uh-huh. area of the island, that is shaped like a crab, right? Of course, well, okay. I mean it has to be. Thank goodness. You, you guys can't have Crab Island this? that's not All shaped right. like a crab. Um, I've got noble ones like uh, jump in front of a bullet for someone, jump on a grenade. Yeah, Ooh. I thought about like you know. Yeah. Uh, and then I got wood chipper, <laughs> Fargo style. Oh, wood chipper's yeah. trouble. <laughs> Just a banana peel into yeah. a wood chipper. <laughs> you could go most morbid ways all of a sudden. <laughs> All right. All right, that'll do it. What did we learn today? I Were you that- thinking calf injury, maybe, Al? Owie, 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 owie. Oh, oh, oh. Did you have any that you thought of that we didn't think of? Nope. Uh, we covered them all? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, how about you, Brooksy? No, you got it. All right, okay. we did it. We got them all. I, I learned that I should be using my ceiling fans. That's what I learned today. Yes, yes, yes they are valuable tools in That's Arizona. why they're in there, huh? That is, yeah. The house, the previous owner uh, was like, I should do what everyone does and have fans. Um, I learned that how you name a child can affect what company they grow up to become <laughs> CEO of. Oh, and Robin Mafood. Robin Mafood. And I learned that Jason was shamed into changing his name completely. I was, but it was self shame. Yes. That's what I mean. Self shame. Yeah. From Randy to. Jason. Almost Randy Jackson, but went Randy Jason. (laughs) Thanks for tuning in for listening. That was a fun one. We'll catch you next week. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Spitballers podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com.